For millennia, Asia, Australia, and the Pacific have been home to a diverse range of Afro-descendant communities, many of which are still present in great numbers throughout these regions. Contrary to popular assumption, the Black nation is not limited to Africa, the Caribbean, and the American boundaries. Native Black people can also be found in Asia, Australia, and the Pacific. Afro-descendant people have been historically marginalized as a result of repeated waves of migration spanning centuries, indigenization, and lost history. Our video today explores the beautiful Black tribes of Asia, the Pacific, and Australia. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more exciting videos. Pacific Islanders are direct descendants of Polynesians, Micronesians, and Melanesians, which includes the native Hawaiians, who are indigenous Polynesians of the Hawaiian Islands, or the Micronesian-speaking ethnic group of the Chukis, indigenous to the Chuk. Melanesians, on the other hand, are indigenous Pacific Islanders who form an arc from the northwest to the southeast, beginning with New Guinea, which is divided into Indonesian Papua on the west, and the Autonomous Republic of Papua New Guinea on the east. They also trace to the Solomon Islands, Fiji, and a cluster of other islands. Melanesians are the Black Island people who moved thousands of years ago to the South Pacific. The indigenous Melanesian population of the islands may have the darkest complexion outside of Africa, particularly the people of the Solomon Islands, who attract attention for their dark skin and golden hair. Prior to contact with Europeans, the European colonizers claimed the native Melanesians engaged in cannibalism, head-hunting, kidnapping, and enslavement, just like the Asmat tribe. However, there are little or no evidence to support this claim. Currently, the population is now primarily Christian, although well over 90% of them live in rural areas. Negritos were originally regarded as a single unique population of closely related individuals based on perceived physical similarity. However, genetic investigations revealed that they are a collection of distinct groups that exhibit genetic variety and are descended from the same ancient population that gave origin to present East Asian and Oceanian peoples. The Negritos are the original people of Southeast Asia, however, they have mainly been assimilated into the more contemporary Austronesian populations. Negrito is the Spanish form of Negro, which means little black person. This term was coined by 16th century Spanish missionaries working in the Philippines, and it was adopted by other European travelers and colonialists across Austronesia to describe diverse peoples considered to have tiny stature and black skin. The Negrito people portray an ancient culture stretching back more than 50,000 years. They are said to be the archipelago's indigenous inhabitants, with many of them still practicing hunting and gathering, trading wild meat and forest items for rice or corn with the Filipino farmers surrounding them. Black people are rarely associated with Australians, and for good reason, because the majority of the continent is white. However, there is more to this account because the first humans to traverse the Australian lands were black migrants known as Aboriginal Australians who came around 80,000 years ago. One theory holds that Aboriginal Australians, who arrived on boats 70,000 years ago from Africa, may be the oldest group of people outside of Africa. Aborigines have dark brown skin with distinct facial features. The majority of them have straight dark hair, and others, particularly Torres Strait Islanders, have blonde and brown hair. Indigenous Australians made up only 3.3% of Australia's population, according to data from the 2016 Australian Census. Despite their tiny number, their history is crucial in comprehending the history of global blackness. Most people believe that slavery is to blame for the proliferation of black faces over the world, but this is simply not true. 
Some scholars believe Aboriginal ancestors moved from Southeast Asia and Africa during the Pleistocene, popularly known as the Ice Age. The Aboriginals were able to reside on broad areas of the Australian continental shelf due to lower sea levels. The Siti are an Indo-African tribal community descended from Africa's Bantu people. Their existence in India dates back to the 7th century. Slavery carried over by Arabs and then Europeans during their colonization of India is most likely the reason for their first presence in India. When slavery was abolished in the 18th and 19th centuries, it is believed that the city people escaped to dense jungle areas and secluded portions of India, where they are still found living in small villages today. Some claim they came as troops with the Arab community and as sailors and merchants on their own. The city population is currently estimated to be around 850,000 people. Cities are noticeable at first glance due to their physical appearance. Despite living in India for generations, the city people have retained their distinctive African traits because they marry within their communities. The Andamanese are the indigenous peoples of the Andaman Islands, which are part of India's Union Territory of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands in Southeast Asia's Bay of Bengal. Because of their dark color and small stature, the Andamanese peoples are among the several groups termed Negrito. All Andamanese have traditionally lived as hunter-gatherers and appear to have been isolated for thousands of years. It is thought that the Andamanese arrived in the Andaman Islands around 26,000 years ago during the last glacial maximum. The Tamils, also known as Tamler, are a dark-skinned Dravidian ethno-linguistic group with roots in India's southern state of Tamil Nadu, the Union Territory of Puducherry, and Sri Lanka. Tamils make up 5.9% of the Indian population primarily in Tamil Nadu and Puducherry, 15% in Sri Lanka, 7% in Malaysia, 6% in Mauritius, and 5% in Singapore. They may not identify as black, but their dark complexions and facial traits are a dead giveaway. Papua New Guinea is a Pacific Island nation which was split in two, with each having black people of African descent, following colonization by the Germans and the British. The two are Papua, which Indonesia now colonizes, and Papua New Guinea, which Australia colonized but is now independent. The name New Guinea was given to the people because it resembled the Guinea people of Africa. With beautiful curly to woolly hair, large noses, and dark to brown complexions, Many of them have a full African appearance. The island of Papua is considered to have been inhabited by the indigenous Papuans for potentially more than 40,000 years, and they are divided into hundreds of ethnic indigenous groups. They speak over 820 different languages, which is more than any other nation in the world. There you have it, a video compiling the beautiful black tribes of Asia, the Pacific and Australia, if you enjoyed this video, watch also the next video on your screen, which presents the shocking findings of the dark-skinned Africans with blue eyes. As always, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting future videos.